Hey guys, Thunder E here and welcome to our video on the best true wireless earbuds under $100. We've selected a few for you here. There are a dime a dozen out there in the market, but I figured, you know what, these one, two, three, four, five, six, seven are a good enough representation for you to get a good idea of what to actually pick up. And I'll tell you which one is my best. So bear with me on this video. It's lengthy, but a lot of great options for you. So let's start off with the very first pair of earbuds. And I'm talking about the Mifo O2. Now, remember the Mifo O5, great pair of earbuds, $89, 100 hour battery life. Yes, those things are great, but the Mifo O2 are right here. Comes in either red or like a yellow and white. What I like about them is, first of all, they're priced about 54 bucks. Uh, they all come with micro USB, it comes with micro USB charging, by the way. Uh, this here gives you um, uh, about 30 hours of battery life, uh, four hours per ear. You've got a really good microphone on these, actually, when you actually use them. So I used them on a couple of phone calls and the microphone did a fantastic job. Uh, the case itself, as you heard that sound, really nice, solid, rigid. Probably the best looking case out of all of them. I like it. It's also really slim to fit into your pocket. Now, putting them on, uh, they fit into your ear like so. Uh, and it feels like it might fall out, but it really doesn't, so you can shake. It's also the smallest pair of uh, True Wireless Buds out of the whole set. Now, audio quality. It's got some really good highs. The highs are good. The mids are okay uh, and lows are very minimal. So you're not going to be listening to anything which is bass heavy here with these though. Controls are a touch, controls very simple. Uh, tap to play, tap to pause, that's pretty much it. Tap to answer phone calls. Uh, but I would say this is a really good, cost-effective, sleek, something to take with you on the road. And again, with this price point and a good microphone, uh, I would say yes. The Mifo O2 are definitely worth picking up at 54 bucks. Next up are the Tautronics True Wireless Buds 5.0. Of course, running Bluetooth 5.0, the Tautronic Buds right here, as you can see them. Uh, they've got that, um, you know, Apple AirPod kind of look, except the ear tips are much better and they fit snug into your ear. So wearing them is pretty easy. Also, a pairing to your smartphone is also easy with this. They retail for $54, and you can get about 40 hours of battery life uh, with, of course, the case uh, as a whole, uh, which is about five hours uh, per charge on there. Now, in terms of uh, bass, it's got some really good bass, so if you're looking for something a little bit bass heavier, this will actually provide that for you. Uh, the mids are nice, the highs, not so much uh, in there. Um, and of course, you've also got simple touch uh, controls to play, you know, double tap to play and pause, that kind of stuff. Very easy to use the master. I think in terms of sound, you're going to get some really good sound from this. A little bit bass heavy, the mids are uh, kind of murky a little bit, but uh, still, again, at it for 44 bucks, you really, uh, I would say this is a really a solid buy. And I think, that is really good to see that a lot of things in the market are getting cheaper and getting better in quality. Now, um, charging is also very simple. The case uses micro USB, and I do like the fact that it pairs very simple and fast for you. So next up is the Anchor Soundcore um, Liberty Air. They come in the white case, either white or black, doesn't matter. Uh, you open it up and you reveal earbuds that, again, have very similar AirPod styling, except with ear tips, so they do stick into your ear. The sound seal is really good. I like what Anchor has done here. Pricing for these are, I believe, around $79, 40 hours of battery life, and you're getting about five hours per ear in terms of use. Uh, highs are really good on this. Your highs really go well. It's good audio overall. I mean, more balanced, uh, especially at that price point. I like the tuning here. There's some parts uh, that are a little bit on the softer side um, in terms of your mids, but I think it's really solid. Tap um, controls, very simple controls here. Uh, you know, like tap to play and pause, double tap, uh, you know, to change songs. So um, I do like that ear. I also like the fact that when you take them out, you can listen to one ear piece if you want to, and then once you put it in the case, it actually stops. Boom. 
and you go ahead and charge it if you want to. Really solid, uses micro uh, USB to charge. So a lot of these use micro USB and that's just something uh, for you guys to know. Like them, I think they're pretty solid. Now, next up are the Tick Pods. Tick Pods also come in a case. Uh, styling is more uh, rectangular. Styling of the AirPods, the AirBuds uh, themselves are again, similar to that uh, Apple AirPod look, except with tips. So we've got three of them are like that, the Tautronics, uh, the Soundcore from Anchor, and then of course the TickPods. TickPods retail for 99 bucks. Now what you have here is something that also is really nice in, uh, it works really well in, in terms of getting connected to your smartphone. What's really good about the TickPods here is that you've got 40 hours of, of, of battery life here. Um, you've also got about 10 hours per year, which is good. So you don't have to charge as much uh, compared to the others. Now, uh, TickPods also have um, a good mic, um, good bass. Uh, good bass in there. The mids are really nice. What I like about the mids here, it allows you to hear more sound than you would expect at this price point. So you hear things like cymbals, maybe, you know, an in, in instrument cymbals is hitting or like that, you know, reverb ricochet of sound. Really comes out well. Doesn't come out murky, but comes out well. Um, you also have got touch controls here as well. So that too is nice uh, about it. Uh, micro USB on the case to charge. Um, it's also got uh, like a sling sleeve thing here so you can actually hook it around if you want to. Um, I think they're nice. I don't think they hit all the marks. I think the mids are probably the best part of these um, uh, uh, true wireless earbuds. But I think again, it's still a solid pair to pick up. So we have the Creative Outlier Air. Retails for $79, comes in this cylindrical case here. What I like about it is that it first has, it's one of the few ones that have USB Type-C for charging. So it's got a faster charging time. You've got 30 hours of battery life, 10 hours per year, uh, uh, per charge, so which means you can use it for 10 hours straight, which is pretty cool. Also the case slides out like so, which is nice. Uh, and you've got these earbuds that only have uh, one set of tips, there are no uh, additional tips in there and you basically fit them in your ear like so. They're comfortable to use, they work out pretty well, um, and the controls are kind of like a press control there. Setup is a little bit murky in terms of setup process. Um, it's not as intuitive as I would like. And also when you take your earbuds out and you put them back in the case, uh, it does not automatically turn off or stop, which is something that I think that they should fix. But when it comes to audio though, it's really nice. You've got some really good volume levels. So you get to 50%, you hear quite a lot of your music. Uh, you don't have to crank it up to the highest, which is good for everybody. Uh, it's got a really nice warm sound. Um, so you get really good, good highs. The mids are good, the lows are also good. I'd say it's really balanced uh, in terms of audio. You get a really good feel from them. Um, and the case is also pretty a nice case as well. Uh, retails for $79.99. Also, audio is powered by Aptex. So you've got Aptex audio, so which means you're getting better audio quality from this. And I really appreciate what I got from these as well. Next up is a pair of headphones from EOZ, these bad boys. Uh, it comes in this rather bulky case, but for reason, uh, well, first off, USB Type-C for charging, which is definitely needed. Um, uh, this retails for about 99 bucks. Uh, the EOZ Air um, comes with a massive battery on here. Uh, I can't remember the battery size, but it promises 90 hours. I haven't done 90 hours yet, but I've done quite a lot of time on these. Uh, the case is a bit too bulky for my liking, but I do like the design though. They kind of remind me of regular monitors if you use them. So, um, you know, they look like so, and uh, you've also got to wrap them around your ear, which means they will never fall out, which is great. And they fit like so, and they're great and comfortable on that aspect. Now, when it comes to audio quality, audio is nice, not as warm as I would like, but the sounds are really clear and clean. I like the clean audio with it. Again, this also supports Aptex audio, as you can see when we got to the better sounding signature, Aptex actually plays a big role. So uh, just letting you know how that actually play comes into play. Uh, really comfortable. The touch controls are okay. They're nothing too special. Um, they're simple, but sometimes they can be finicky as well. 
but I do like the fact that it fits. Comes with a couple of uh, comply foam tips as well. So uh, it gives you that good solid fit, which means if you're on the subway, it's got some really good noise isolation. Uh, again, sound is clean, it is clear, and things come out well, not too punchy, but just very clean sound with these. I think, uh, I think they just need to fix and work on some of their connectivity issues. This is what probably my most annoying to connect because I had to connect each, um, you know, ear, earbud, which isn't necessary. But battery life is great and I mean, uh, the audio is also pretty solid on here. Now, last but not the least are the uh, one more true wireless buds. And you've seen my review on this. If you probably haven't, then these are absolutely fantastic. Retail for 99 bucks. One more, I think, cracked the code. They did a lot of triple driver stuff. Um, and I've got to say, what they've done here with the driver mechanics is really solid. Fits in your ear really well. It's comfortable. The sound signature is so good. Uh, I mean, when I did my review, I said this sounded like a pair of almost $200 uh, wireless earbuds, and I would agree, and these are steel. Now, they also come with Aptex Audio, so you're getting some really nice, good audio quality to match what you're actually playing in terms of audio quality. It is just sweet. Warm sound, the highs, mids, and lows really come out well. Um, there's not much that these cannot handle, uh, but I would say uh, in terms of all, th in all seven uh, wireless earbuds, these are my most favorite, and that's the one I definitely will go with first. But there are a lot of options here uh, to go with, and I think a lot of people will like quite well. Now, in terms of people looking for ones with the best microphone, I definitely liked what I got here from... Um, uh, Mifo, uh, uh, Mifo O2, really good mic, as well as also the Soundcore. Um, those did quite well, as well as the Taut Tautronic as well. In terms of audio quality, uh, it's definitely the three with the Aptex, the Creative, uh, the EZO, EOZ, I call it EZO, but EOZ Air, as well as the One More True Wireless. Definitely worth picking up any of them, especially if you have different price ranges. I think you'll find a lot here to fit what you're looking for. We've got stuff that uh, is priced at 44 bucks with the Tautronic that really will sort out your music taste. We've got stuff that's priced at $54, compact, solid, great microphone, and does some things really well. We've got stuff priced at $79 um, that brings some really rich audio, good microphones, and then we've got stuff priced at 99 uh, that really sets the stage for really good audio wirelessly at a low price point. So hopefully this helped you guys out, and if you want to pick up any of these devices, use our links down below. Hopefully I've given you uh, a solid reminder of some of the best true wireless earbuds under $100. So if you have any questions, let me know. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe to the channel, and always enjoy entertainment.